It's William here, the Bangkok voice coach. And I'm at home in Bangkok and it is extremely hot. About 35 degrees every day and everybody is trying to keep cool. But today I'm gonna to look at a video which was sent to me by a number of people and it is Amira Willighagen. She's singing Gesù Bambino, which is an Italian Christmas song based on Adeste Fidelis. Oh, come all you faithful. So what is remarkable about this is that she's just really walked into the church where she's from in the Netherlands and her father Gerrit is playing the organ and she's singing it with her coat on, just au naturel, you might say. And these are great videos to watch for all of us, and particularly for singing coaches, because you can see everything. It's just what they call unplugged. Let's go. <laughs> So you can see what I mean, venite adoremos, so come on you faithful. Uh, it has changed to B flat, because the opening is in G major, which is the sort of original, the new part of the song in Italian. Look how she sings these long phrases now. Uh, she's got tremendous long breath control, which she didn't have as a little girl, because why would she? She's tiny and her lungs are really small. But she's really clearly worked on this and her long phrase with no break. They are lovely legato line and really easy, easy uh, enunciation of the words on top of the breath. Easy mouth shape. that singing where she's uh, singing really really long phrases but she never pushes one note out of that line so she's keeping her breath down she's been well taught that the, the, the most important thing about breathing is not to let it brush out so you would work quite hard here but you don't look like you're working at all here it's a bit like that analogy of the swan going across top of the water it looks like it's gliding but actually his feet are doing a lot of work and this is what she's doing here there's a lot of control of the flow of breath and as a result she's able to keep very relaxed here and of course she's got a signature tuning which i call her speciality de la maison which is this incredible clarity of pitch and that's because she always just pings onto the note and even aged almost 19, she hasn't lost that. Amira will be 19 on the 27th of 
March, which is in a few days. So happy birthday, Amira. And thank you for your music and your gorgeous voice. Let's go on. voice has matured but also is very much recognizably still her and this is so important when training singers especially young gifted singers is that they sound like themselves even though of course they have more technique at their fingertips more breathing control uh, control of the line and the, and the dynamics and of course the range these are all the things that people strive for but you must also never lose yourself in the middle of all this is a mirror still being her still being that combination of modest and confident which is a really magic combination and this is a, an extraordinary song it sounds like it's been around forever but it hasn't it was written in 1917 by Pietro Ion, who was born in Settimo Vitale, which is about 50 kilometers north of Turin, but he moved to the United States of America when he was about 21, because uh, he got a job playing the organ in New York, and he stayed there for the rest of his life. He wrote this song just a few years after arriving in New York, uh, and it has a sense of nostalgia about it, doesn't it? He's combined this church music, which is very much part of his daily life and his daily routine, but he's also referenced Italy and how much he loves the country that he's from. And cleverly, he's created something which sounds like it's been around forever. And that doesn't happen very often. But when it does, you're onto a winner. Tragically, he died in 1943. He had a stroke. And his sister found him, and she had a heart attack, and she found him. So she also died. Uh, he died at the age of 57. So that there's a man's history, his life, his work, his association with St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York. He set up a music school at Carnegie Hall. And this is the legacy. And I'm so glad that he created this simple, beautiful carol which is sung all over the world. And I think Amira is great at tapping into that. She's great at tapping into the deep meaning of a song. She has this gift of taking herself out of the way and letting the song come through. It's always about the music. Her voice is a vehicle for the music and for the words. And even with her huge success and fame around the world, she still has that modesty and that connection to the truth and that you can see in a video like this because there's nowhere to hide there's no editing there's no production there's no microphone in fact apart from whatever's recording it may be a phone you know so this is the real person here not hiding behind any kind of gadgets and gimmicks and i love that and i really want to say thank you very much for sending that to me and asking me to have a look at it. And happy birthday, Amira, in a few days' time. It's William here in Bangkok saying goodbye for now. See you soon.